The Samuel H. Boardman State Scenic Corridor is a 12-mile stretch of rugged coastline just north of Brookings. It's easily one of my favorite places along the southern Oregon coast because there's just so much to see and do there. From sandy beaches to scenic viewpoints, trails, rivers, caves, and so on. If you drive through the scenic corridor along Highway 101, you'll pass a lot of signs for a bunch of different side of the road natural attractions like beaches and viewpoints and stuff. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the most popular spots and what there is to see and do at each one. Starting at the southernmost part of the corridor closest to Brookings and I'm working my way up. So my first stop is Lone Ranch Beach. Now it is winter so the sea is super sketchy so I'm not going to get close to the ocean. I'm not going to go out onto the beaches. Also it's extremely foggy today. I did not expect it to be this foggy. So I might include some footage from some of our past trips so that you can see it like on a clear day and get some different perspectives and stuff like that. Lone Ranch Beach is a pretty popular spot because it's a big sandy beach. Of course there were king tides on the day I decided to make this video so there wasn't much of a beach to show but on a sunny summer day it's a really nice place. The parking lot is big enough for a decent amount of cars and the beach is big enough to do all the fun beachy things. You can even see Cape Ferrello jutting out to the north which is the next stop along the corridor. The trail to Cape Ferrello is a short half mile hike and it starts off with a really cute foresty trail that has what I like to call nature tunnels and then it opens up into a big flat grassy piece of land that juts out into the sea like a little peninsula. This is my favorite spot for watching sunsets on clear nights and it's also a really good spot for whale watching. It's starting to clear up a tiny bit. It's not quite as foggy to the north. Still pretty foggy though. Next is House Rock Viewpoint, which is a super quick stop. There's no hiking required to get to this viewpoint, just a short flight of stairs. House Rock itself is about a mile out to sea, so it might be difficult to get a view on a foggy day, but I think the views to the north and the south of the coastline are more interesting than the rock itself. Whales Head Beach is just north of House Rock and it's one of my favorite beaches. The road leading to it might seem kind of sketchy at first because it's a gravel road with a few potholes, but we've made it down to the beach in our little Ford Fiesta so it's not too bad. There are picnic tables and bathrooms here and the beach itself is really interesting. The sand is gray and there are three different streams which meet here which can be fun to splash around in during summertime. There are also some tide pools and a cave here. The beach itself is named because of the big rock formation here that looks like a whale's head. Just past Whale's Head Beach is Indian Sands. This is a sandstone plateau with dunes and this is actually my first time here because I've come before and I tried to see it before but I failed because it's kind of confusing. There's a big sign right here that says Indian Sands so you would think that this trail leads there but it doesn't so don't be confused. I don't know why they mislead people like that but the real trail is actually the southern end of the parking lot so hopefully I can find it this time. This trail is a bit steep. <sighs> But check this out, so beautiful. I just came from that way and now I'm not sure which way to go because there's a trail there, there's a trail there, and there's a trail there and there's no sign. I'm gonna go this way. I think I went the wrong way. Abort mission, go back. So then I guess I'll go this way. I think I found them. I wish it wasn't such a foggy day because this would be amazing. I can't believe we've never been here before. Like, check out that dune that that guy's walking down. So these dunes, they're not really like the dunes north of Coos Bay. They're more sandstony, but they are unique because the sand doesn't come from the beach. It comes from all of the sandstone cliff erosion, which is really cool. Going back up is not an easy task. Oh my gosh. The next highlight of the corridor isn't a beach or a viewpoint or even a stop at all, but a bridge along Highway 101. It's called the Thomas Creek Bridge and it's actually the highest bridge in all of Oregon. The next best stop is Natural Bridges. This is a viewpoint that looks out over some of the most iconic rock formations along the southern Oregon coast. There are some trails that lead down to a closer view of the Natural Bridges, but we tried to figure it out once and we couldn't find our way there. But I know it's possible because other people have done it. 
Next is Thunder Rock Cove. This spot is known for Thunder Rock, which is a cave-like formation that makes the sound of thunder whenever the waves crash into it. It's about a one-third mile hike to the overlook through a foresty trail. There are some longer trails here and some scenic overlooks too. Last but not least is Ark Rock. This is probably the most popular arc in the scenic corridor because it's easily viewed via a very short trail and the rock itself isn't too far out to sea so it's very visible. There's also a nice picnic area and restrooms here. All of these stops can actually be reached via the coastal trail so you could start at one end of the corridor and hike to the other stopping at all of these really cool places along the way but most people don't have the time or the energy for that i know i don't there are also a lot of lesser known unmarked spots along the corridor so this place could literally keep anyone busy for days i've been here i don't even know how many times and i still haven't seen everything which is cool because each time i come I find something new. That pretty much sums up the corridor. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya.